the end of all we know, it's probably my favourite song in the album, definitely top three. I think it was the first song that Gunze brought to the table when we started writing the album. I think we knew pretty early on that End of All We Know was going to be the first single because it has uh, kind of everything we can offer as a band. In a way it's kind of like Afterlife for me, it's like got everything you need for the perfect metal song and the chorus is absolutely massive, it's probably my favourite thing about the song. Kennedy absolutely smashed it for that. We knew it would be a good idea to get a song out and we've been working on this one since summer I think. Gunze had maybe sent over the instrumental for it earlier in the year, but it was certainly summer when we started, when the vocals started coming together. That gave like a really good representation just the riffs and the drive and everything, it's quite, it's very bleed from within, but it had that new, some of these new elements of melody that we were experimenting with that we hadn't really done before. So it was a good one to kind of, you know, let everyone hear first from the new album. I think it gave a good, it was a good opener. At that point, it was the strongest sounding idea that we had, and we knew that this song, the end of all we know, was going to be the single that we were going to put out at the end of the year to lead into next year so that people weren't waiting two whole years before they heard more new bleed from within. When I heard the chorus I instantly started humming this melody in my head which is the melody that you can hear in the song right now. It just came to me like instantly. Sometimes if that happens you just know it's right and you just have to go with it and I'm so glad I did because I'm so happy with the final product of that song. I think it's uh, just a strong song start to finish. We had the opportunity to play this live as well, obviously we released it in November last year and straight after that we went on a three week tour around Europe um, and we opened with the track live and it was just an absolute belter. The breakdown is an animal, the verse is incredibly driving, just keeps up the pace and the big epic ending section was a joy to play live, uh, I think it, it translated really well. Me and Stephen were pretty obsessed by uh, Ramstein's new album at the time and it was in Deutschland at the end, there's like these kind of soaring female vocals, almost operatic and uh, I really wanted to get that in a song somewhere and I'd mentioned it would be perfect for the end of End of All We Know, just before it goes into that last kind of chorus and uh, Ali suggested that we contact Hannah from Frog Leap, uh, Ali had been filling in for Frog Leap for a few shows during the summer so we reached out to her and she was well up for it and she sent over the first take and it was just unreal, like we were all blown away. made it so anthemic right then. the end. It's absolutely massive, so it was like the perfect kind of finishing touch for that song. Really glad that it's opened the album, to be honest. It just sort of sets the tone and sets the pace. Um, and it lets people know that they're in for a fucking whale of time. <laughs> I hope there's outtakes in this. Meaning of the song is sort of about letting go of our toxic past. We don't keep it any secret that in our 15 years as a band we've experienced some pretty hard times and when we released ERA we started to see like that people actually cared about our band and that's just what this song is about. It's just a, just a wake up call really about fuck that shit man, like look what we have now. This song is and in fact, the last line of the chorus is like, I will not deny the warning signs, but this time I will not stand alone. It's just about us and the people that care about our band. And yeah, that's all that really matters to us. Yeah.